Hi everyone, just thought I'd show you the setup I've got happening at the moment. Uh, unfortunately I had an EB200P uh, but the touchscreen was playing up a little bit on that and so that's actually back with Blue Yeti at the moment. So uh, I've only got sort of half my system here at present. I've got the B230 expansion battery which I was using with the EB200P. Uh, and because I've had to send all the accessories back with the, the EB200P, that's really only left me um, with one option to charge this, uh, this battery. I'm using it really just to charge USB devices. It doesn't have any AC outlet on it, obviously. But I'm using the enhanced DC charger. And uh, the way I've got the panels set up, um, we haven't quite hit our, our maximum. I'll take you downstairs in a bit and just show you the panels. Um, but I've got an external inline meter here, so we can sort of see we're pulling just a bit over 300 watts. Later in the day, when the panels sort of come into their own and start getting full sun, um, we'll pull about 500 watts almost. We'll max out the, the, the DC enhanced DC charger. Yeah, so not a lot going on here. Um, yeah, really just got to wait and get back my EB200P. Uh, um, but actually, they're sold out at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to have to see what happens. I might be able to um, pay a bit extra perhaps and upgrade to an AC Max, which um, wouldn't be a bad thing um, considering that I do have the, the V230. You can use it obviously with an EB200P, um, but it is a bit of a manual process in, uh, in charging it up and, uh, and sort of managing it, which uh, is not, not the end of the world, but the AC Max, I think, would probably uh, just be a little bit more seamless. Well, we're going to have a look at the panels. Okay, so I've actually got two solar panel arrays uh, at the moment. One driving the enhanced DC charger, which is these ones here. These ones are actually facing west. Uh, it's only just uh, gone midday here, so they've only really just come into, uh, into sunshine. Uh, and they'll probably hit their optimum um, production a bit later on in the afternoon. Uh, being where we are here in central Queensland going into summer uh, we're going to get a lot of western sun so uh, having a, um, a, an array facing west is going to be a big advantage. So um, I'll show you the other um, the other two that we've got down here. These are what I call my primaries. Now these are a, a brand new panel and uh, I'll just show you what I've got happening here. We're going into storm season now. I was a little bit worried about these things flying away. I've actually gone and purchased what we call ground anchors, and these are relatively cheap. And they just uh, screw into the ground, and, uh, and then I've got just some tie down straps. And they're basically just holding it against the frame. These frames are painting trestles that I got from, uh, from Aldi. Um, the whole thing is, is pretty secure, shouldn't really fly away. Uh, even when we have heavy heavy rain and wind. So this is half of my uh, primary array. These are JA Solar uh, 390 watts each. So I've actually got four of these on my primary array. Uh, two and two uh, which are seried up and then those two are obviously in parallel. So two in series, another two in series and then those two series arrays are then paralleled up. I'll show you where the others are at. Okay, so these are the other panels. Now, unfortunately, where we are in the Tropic of Capricorn, during summertime, the sun's directly overhead, and we are getting a little bit of shading on these panels here. But we're actually over-paneling with these 390-watt panels, with four of them. Uh, it's way more than what the, um, the Blue Yeti could take on its uh, PV input. So, uh, so these two here are series, like the other two, and then they come together and they're in parallel. With those two western facing ones I showed you before, I've actually got a couple of older panels here and I've also connected them up in parallel. So the two out the front that faced west are in series, these two that face north are in series, and then those two are in, uh, in parallel. So during the day these can produce a bit of power, as you can see they're getting a bit of shade here as well, and then the western facing ones can really kick off in the afternoon. Once again, over panelling for the enhanced DC charger it can only drive up to 500 watts anyway uh, and combined these two arrays are about a thousand watts uh, so uh, 
Yeah, so anyway, that's the current system, and when I get my head unit back, I'll take you through uh, what's going on with that.